Hi guys, how you all doing today? I hope everyone is blessed and doing okay. We are over here in Grand Cayman, guys. 16 years of marriage and 23 years together with my husband. Guys, this journey, it's not easy, but we are here together and it's good to have a partner that you you two that both of you are best friends guys dedication is the key communication and dedication is the key guys i can remember when i first met my husband guys at foster supermarket in grand cayman here i met my husband here 2001 guys 2001 things wasn't that bad when I meet my, met my husband but before that guys things were so hard with my two girls in back in Jamaica and um, when I met my husband I could pay my own rent I didn't have a car for myself but I was driving and when I met my husband guys things start um, things get better better and better and better every day and god i have to say god um is so good um we are here today together and we love each other guys and if my head hurt his head hurt and if his head hurt my head hurt so that's the type of relationship you want to have with your partner guys and and then show the person that you love them guys and uh, do the right thing dedication and communication so i want to say a uh, happy anniversary to my husband to both of us and i hope we may live to see many many more happy anniversary guys we're not going to go out for dinner or anything today last year we went out to lobster pot this year we're not going out for any dinner because we just come back from vacation so we are already have our anniversary um vacation already so we're gonna just go to one of his friend birthday party this evening and then but i'm gonna prepare something for us to eat before we go you guys didn't know that i love to prepare my own meal because i used to be have on so much weight and you know as um, from I start preparing my own meal and stop going to the restaurant so often I am healthier I feel better in myself and I can maintain my weight even I do fasting in the morning guys like I wake up in the morning fix my husband breakfast for him to go to work he leave out at 6 30 in the morning to reach the work at 7 because you know the traffic on the road and I only have like a cup of tea sometimes. I just have a cup of tea and a banana, a ripe banana or a apple. And then like 10 o'clock, I have my breakfast. Lunchtime, I'm, I'm not hungry. Maybe I'll have a cup of, a, a glass of ju a juice. And then, you know, we have supper or dinner. So that's what I do and try to maintain my weight, guys. And because sometimes we don't have much time to exercise, but I do my own, my little exercise in the house, or sometimes we, we get to go walking. So guys, health is wealth, guys. Health is wealth. So we have to try to take care of ourselves and be happy, because a lot of people in the in the world, guys, they don't they didn't wake up this morning, or uh, they on the bed, they wish they could walk, or they lose a leg, they have to be using stick. So we just have to give God thanks for whatever we have, guys. Be grateful and thankful and be happy. We only have one life to live. We have to be um, very, very careful, guys. When you go to the doctor, you have to be check. You have to check up, check up um, on your health. Go to the doctor even twice a year and do your check and make sure everything is okay. Because this minute we are here. We're up and down, looking healthy and strong, and the next minute they hear that. 
somebody pass you know you, you, you was you say the person looks so healthy but the person is sick inside and they didn't know so we just have to check up on ourselves guys blood pressure check everything especially blood pressure guys because we don't know we have to eat salt when, when you're cooking guys that's why I love to prepare my own meals when you're cooking you know how much salt you put in your food when you buy things um, from the restaurant you don't know how much salt how much sugar how much um, seasoning and some of the seasoning they have so much um, MSG they use in this and that we don't know what we're using sometime when we buy it when you buy it from the supermarket but you can um, you're, you're aware of what you use when you're cooking so you, you can go to the supermarket and you look at the label choose what you want to put in your food and what you want to use what you want to cook and eat lots of vegetable and food guys even if you um avocado is very good guys avocado is very good at once one one time i remember i went to the doctor and the doctor was giving me some ideas of what and what i should eat what i shouldn't eat and i just feel proud of myself now guys i'm 52 years old and trust me guys i feel i felt better in myself more than when i was in my 40s because i wasn't i wasn't eating right and I wasn't doing the right thing. I, I was so busy working, guys. You just um, stop there, grab something to eat. Stop there, grab something to eat because we couldn't do, I couldn't do any better. But now that I can do better, I try to prepare my own meals. So thank you for watching this video, guys, up to this point. And please remember to give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed as yet, please do so. And also leave a comment and let me know what you think about this video. And this evening I'm going to prepare some cabbage and saltfish. But this is my, I will prepare my cabbage already cut and washed. And this is my cabbage. I also have a carrot in there. And this is my board with all my seasoning. This is the saltfish. And this is, I have onion, bell peppers, tomato, and I have some green onion over here. So this is what I'm preparing, guys. I'm preparing this for breakfast tomorrow morning. So I don't have to wake up 5.30 in the morning. I can wake up 6. And my husband, 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 my husband, I could wake up like quarter to 6, guys. And then I could just warm it up with bread that for breakfast in the morning because we don't do anything every in the morning so I'll maybe I'll make a cup of porridge and um, give him some cabbage and salt fish for breakfast saute my seasoning first and then I fry up the salt fish and then put the cabbage in last <laughs> I'm going to use two chicken seasoning, some garlic powder, and a blend of magic seasoning. Now I add the saltfish 
I have this sawfish. Let that saute a little. This is the cabbage now guys, we're going to have the cabbage step by step. I'm gonna stir so and then I put the rest of seasoning. Imperial, this is the butter I use, it's not salt. I'm gonna put a little water in it guys. Just a little water in it. I'll cover it. And then when I come back to the stove, I'm gonna turn it off. Stir and turn off. I don't even have to taste this guys because I do this all the time. So I know how much Sorry, I don't know how much <coughs> seasoning to put in it. So I know it's good. It's okay. So this is for breakfast in the morning. Yeah. Check the cabbage and see if it's ready. Almost ready. This is almost ready, guys.
perfect. This is ready, guys. So we're gonna turn off the stove. Let me bring the camera closer so you can see. This is my cabbage and saltfish. This is for breakfast. This is my cabbage and saltfish, guys. This is for breakfast in the morning. So that's it guys for today it's not a long video this video is kind of short I'm just doing some cabbage for breakfast so if, it, if it's the first time you're coming across this channel guys please give the video a like share with your friends and also leave a comment let me know how you, what you think about this cabbage and saltfish and uh, if you haven't subscribed as yet please do so that's how you can support me and uh, give the video a thumbs up guys when you subscribe any video I post you'll be the first one to see to see it and uh, also remember God loves us all take care until I, I see you again in the next video